So good morning, everybody. We have a great panel here today, and we're going to do this pretty informally. I'm going to be asking them a series of questions uh, about the Obama plan, and then we'll shift into your questions on the Obama plan. But he wants to create a ratings system in which colleges would be evaluated on a series of measures, including graduation and completion rates, earnings of graduates, affordability and access. None of those terms have been defined yet. And then what's really significant is he's proposing to link the size of Pell Grants and the terms of federal loans to the outcomes of those measures. Um, and to somehow do this such that institutions are being compared to institutions with similar missions. But again, how narrow or broad that is remains to be seen. So the idea that it's not really baked and that they didn't come out and say, these are the five metrics, I think is actually a good thing because instead they've said, well, we want something that compares like to like. Um, we want something that you know, gives, uh, um, is you know, quantitative in nature, but it's still kind of fair to community colleges and HBCUs and all of these places that you might worry if you just did it, you know, we're gonna rank people based on graduation rates or something like that, um, that they might be, um, uh, harmed by something like that. So I guess I would say I'm cautiously optimistic. I think it's important to give students some context about um, choosing college and an authoritative source, which the government has the potential to do. Um, linking it to Pell Grants and uh, student loans is, is interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, the developing rating systems is hard. Um, these things don't turn out real well right off the bat. Uh, U.S. News and World Report is not as controversial as it used to be because they have refined it over time. It's now about 35 years old. I think that the biggest concern colleges and universities have um, is that the department will use poor quality data uh, to rank colleges and universities. Um, and that is a fundamental concern. We don't know where the data will come from. Um, is this just going to be Department of Education data? Um, will it be federal data or will they crowdsource data? Um, we don't know these things. And but if you start looking across the country and you're comparing Alaska to North Dakota to California to Massachusetts, the contexts are so utterly different that to put everyone on the same grid, I think, is going to lead to really significant distortions. But the number of outcome data that the federal government collects now is quite limited. Um, so I think that they need to have more data than what they currently have available, but where do they get it from? Uh, Scott mentioned that um, they, they're going to, the president in his speech said they're going to rank colleges by value and affordability. Um, the definition of those terms becomes pretty important because everything flows from the definition of value. Value uh, implies, in this case, relative worth. Um, and it means you've got to compare quality with price. Um, as I've said, this is not easy stuff. Uh, this is fairly uh, complicated. Um, stackable credentials make a whole host of sense. Uh, they get people out into the workforce more quickly, uh, which enables your completion rates to be higher if we get credit for them as completions. Um, but then if we do get credit for them as completions, what do we do when they come back? The student stops out with an with intermediate credential. That's great. Is that a graduation? It is right now, right? Okay. It's a program of study. They so graduated then, with the certificate. Okay. So then the student comes back and goes on for the associate's degree. Is that another graduation? I believe so. Okay. All right. It's, these are the challenges that we have to work through, yeah. but I, I just think it's worth doing it. Instead, instead of what I, I feel like what we tend to do in higher education is say, yes, we should have better data, and but look at all these challenges, and then we stop rather than saying, how could we work through these challenges so that we can reach the goal of having mm -hmm. good data to provide to students and to use in perhaps accountability? Well, I think that colleges and universities have their own metrics that they use internally to determine whether mm -hmm. they're successful. And so it's really interesting to hear like the, the, that the idea that we want to use some metrics to determine whether you're successful. Um, and we're like, no, 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 no. Instead of saying, oh, great, and you want to hear my feedback, here's what we use. And, and that way you kind of get a, away from the concern about all this stuff, you just say, well, we don't, we don't use graduation rate because it's not useful. In our you know, school, we use transfer rate, and here's how we define it. And providing that to the federal, I think they, they've already set up a website or whatever to, to share these things. Um, I would just suggest that there are ways to do this because colleges and universities have ways to determine whether they are successful. And I've never heard a college president argue that they weren't successful 
at you know what their mission is, and, unless they're new and they're trying to do something turn around. But usually they they say you know <laughs> I, we're so successful, we have great <laughs> outcomes, we do X, Y, and Z, and instead of like saying, and the federal government should just, I would think that a self-interested college would say, yeah, great, we've got some outcomes for you. Use exactly the things that are in my like performance thing that my board uses. This is what you should use to determine if we should get more Pell Grant money, is the stuff that we already use to determine if we're successful. Whether that is something that the federal government already has access to, and those are later, I think those are serious and legitimate, but the idea that we can't come up with some things to determine whether a college is doing a good job seems just um, hard to get to salary can't resist suggesting something to uh, my fellow journalists here all these issues that we're talking about in terms of all the flaws potential flaws with this federal rating that doesn't yet exist all apply a hundred percent to US news and other rankings that get written about unquestioningly way too much and so if you believe the things that all of our panelists have said stop writing about uh, you know about those because they are they totally favor the institutions that don't serve any of these students